guys, so here we are in my room and I am going to show you my vanity setup because some of you were asking to see it. So here we go. Um, this desk or vanity is called the Malm and it is from Ikea. This chair is amazing. It is so comfortable. This also is from Ikea. It is so sturdy and so well made. I have to tell you that it is out of all the chairs I've had in a vanity, this one has to be my favorite. Um, underneath I keep a garbage can so I can put my Q-tips and things in it. And a roll of paper towels and a roll a uh, container of Windex because I like to clean this every day. Okay, so let's see what's on my vanity. I'm going to actually sit in a chair. So I have this awesome mirror. This is by Zadro. I did get this at, um, hey guys. <laughs> I am not dressed. Um, I did get this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It is double sided and it does light up as you can see. Um, and it does have a dimmer, which I love. The other side is um, magnified. So, okay, so over here we'll start. Uh, this little box is great. It separates this way and I keep all of my little hair clippies in here and Q-tips in here. I got this for about $5 at Home Goods, and I love it. Um, this is an envelope or a mail holder, and I keep some of my good palettes here. My two Lorac Pros, a Naked Palette, um, the two Kat Von D Contour and um, Eyeshadow Palette, my Anastasia Naked, and a pack of tissues. You guys know the drill, <laughs> but this is a great organizational tool to keep the ones that I use most frequently out uh, and easy accessible. This is just a little can that I had gotten at Target a while back um, that I keep the brushes that I pretty much use on a daily. Um, they're mixed up. There's some Mac in here. There's some of these. Um, what are these things called again? Real Technique brushes. I have a, I have a good menagerie there's tons more but these are the ones like I said that I use pretty much every day um, I keep them in a can and on this side if you were watching my live broadcast yesterday you would have seen this little container that I recently got from um, let me just pull these out from home goods check this little guy out it says foxy <laughs> and there's my little fox so again these are just makeup brushes that I use daily um not all of them daily but most of them and um yeah so that goes in that container this container is really great i got this also at home goods it's got three drawers um in it if you're interested in seeing i like am fascinated by these things these are by um who makes these maybelline of all things the color tattoo sticks these are an amazing primer for your eyelids. I use them a lot. They come in all different colors. I only have this many um, neutrals and some purples, but these go on really creamy. And if you're into putting a primer on your eyelid in the way of color, I would suggest these. They're, they're pretty good. Um, these are just random little things, little palettes that I have. In here are, again, these are things that I pretty much use on the daily. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows by Urban Decay. Um, this one's called Half Baked. It's a gold and I adore this. I use this a lot whenever you see me wearing gold on the eye. It's that one. And this is another one that I like. It's, um, what is this one called? Lounge. I'm going to pop it open and show you guys this. It's, it's like a teal color, but it has like a chromic. This is going to be hard to do one handed. It has like a chromic effect to it. Hold on guys, let me open it up. So I don't know if you can see, in some light it looks brown and others it looks teal and green. And if you have brown eyes, this color is the bomb. <laughs> on like a night out with like falsies and whatnot. Then I just have, you know, my Mac, a couple NYX things, another Mac one. This L'Oreal Infallible little thing, I love. It's that purple color. This thing's great. In fact, I wear this and I get a lot of compliments when I do wear it. Uh, what's this one called? I don't see the name. Light Diamond. Anyway. 
and my favorite <laughs> out of all of the designer label eyeshadows nyx this one has to be my favorite it's black it's a matte black and it's so black i love it use that one a lot and this is just a navy blue one from milani that i love um bella navy that's the one that thing is amazing um okay so then the top little drawer i just keep random stuff some bobby pins hair ties little clips this i love this is the melted um lip gloss or liquid lipstick what color is this one in? i don't even know chocolate honey this is a good one guys if you have my kind of complexion this one shows up nice um nyx lingerie lip gloss i don't know what color this is in here it is 11 and this is just an old mac not old but um i don't really use this one too much it's a luster glass it's got like an orange with peachy color with like gold flecks in it but anyway keep that in there and then um this is what I use to fill in my eyebrows with. This is just an old Eco Tool. It's got the slant. I love this thing. Um, I keep my tweezers in here. The junky ones, I'll show you the better pair. Spoolie. Some of my lip liners. I don't have to go through all of them. Some eyelash glue. This is from Nicole and her lovely box she sent me. Um, this, I don't know if you guys have a Whole Foods near you, but this is called Egyptian Musk. It's a fragrance oil. Guys, this thing, no matter when or where I wear this, the compliments that I get are off the hook. So if you're into that musky scent, this is like my signature. I wear this almost every day. Okay. So that is it for the top. Let's look in the drawer. Hold on. Let me pull my stuff back. Now, guys, I recently just weeded through this i got rid of so much makeup it's like ridiculous and i kept some of the stuff that i use pretty much on the daily so it's easily accessible so i'll run through it really quick i'm not gonna you know get stagnant on it but um this tweezer set by tweezer man guys is so fantastic with the little scissors the spoolie is like none other and these tweezers are fab i just keep them here on the side um, and I ha happen to section this out in way of the application. So uh, if you can notice, I mean, we can start down here. This is just random scissor and a pick to fluff out my curls. Um, there's just a random pen in here in case I want to write down anything, which rarely ever happens at the vanity, but you know, you never know. <laughs> um, here's my eyelash curler that I use every day. I'm missing this little black rubber piece, but I don't care. It's by Revlon. And truthfully, guys, this is the best one that I have found. I have had Tarte. I have had all of the name brands, but as you can see, it has a really wide slot for your eyelashes. And I have very large eyes, so I need the width of this. Some of them are like shorter. Um, this is This one fits me great. And it has a really high piece, if you can see. So if you have long eyelashes and big eyes, I would definitely recommend this eyelash curler. Um, this mascara happens to be my favorite, the Voluminous Million Lashes. You guys know because you've asked a thousand times. And I always tell you, I have to use waterproof because my eyelashes are very straight. And after I curl them, this is the only one that gets them to stand up straight. I follow it with a coat of, um, oh, that one's got some on there, some uh, voluminous, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Um, this is my newest fave for the bottom lashes, Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. And this one I don't use too often. It's the MAC Mascara, the False Lashes. I'm not a big fan of it, but it was a sample, so I kept it. Uh, blush, this one's my favorite by MAC. It's called Raisin. This is another little Milani blush that I love. I think it's called Diorio. Let me see. Rose Dioro. Love that one. And I also like this one by Milani. Um, in the summer, though, because this one's darker, you need a tan. Red Vino. Um, for bronzer, I love the Too Faced Soleil in Dark Chocolate. That one is my favorite. I also like this one by Milani. As you can see, Milani is one of my go-tos cheap and um the products are really good 
get it at CVS. This one is in uh, number five. There you go. This one, um, this I use on the daily. This is Studio Fix Powder by MAC. I'll show you. It's almost worn out already, but um, I need a new one. But there it is. This stuff is fantastic. You don't even need a liquid foundation if you don't want to because it has it built in. And the color I use is an NC42. This is just a backup. I use this to blot sometimes. Um, then we have concealers. My favorite by far is the NARS. This one. Ah. <laughs> this one's my favorite. NARS and what color? I don't even know what I use. What do I use? Uh, medium. NARS and medium. This is custard, I believe. Um, this one, I'm not a big fan, the Naked Skin, for some reason, by Urban Decay. This one creases on me, so I tend to stick with the NARS one. But I do actually like this NYX one. This one's not too bad. Um, and this is the liquid eyeliner I've been using lately, which I love, the Maybelline Line Stiletto. This one's fantastic. Uh, Rimmel Eyebrow Gel. So you see, you don't have to always go with, I'm, I'm a big MAC user, but I cleaned out because I've been using a lot of, um, you know, I do use some things, but I like drugstore lately. I don't know why, and I don't know how this got in there because this is eyeliner. Okay, and here's another eyeliner. <laughs> I do not go anywhere without this on my face. This big giant one, this is the big one, the Benefit Professional. Uh... It's a pro bomb to minimize the appearance of pores, but what I have found that this thing does is it fills in any small lines. If you put a little glob on the end of your finger and rub it on your fine lines, like the 11 between your eyebrows and things, this will fill it in and you won't even notice them. Um, and if you do notice them, they will definitely be minimized. So I love this and I always get the big one. I've been using this again as a primer for my eyelids. This was the first one that I ever bought. Not this one, but this particular brand and primer. When I started learning how to do my makeup, this was the one and I am back using it and love it. And the MAC Studio Fix is typically what I use for liquid foundation, but lately I've been loving this. This is the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless foundation. As you can see, there's quite a bit of Maybelline in my collection, which kind of surprises me, but anyway, um, I do set my face with the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent setting powder. Love this stuff. Can't go without it, um, especially for after you do your concealer. This stuff does not make any creases. Um, I do have the secret brightening powder, but guys, I have to tell you, this stuff is, it's got a high flashback, so if you take photos, even though it does brighten up your under eye, be wary because you will definitely have white raccoon eyes. Sorry that the beauty blender is a little dirty. And then I have the two little baby ones that I use to set my powder and my concealer under my eyes. This is just, I believe this is a Wet n Wild Kabuki. Um, this is a MAC blush, the top broke off. Look how, look, I don't even know what color it is. This is just a really good peachy one. This is, I never really use this, but I have it. The Dark Cir Circle Concealer by NYX. It's like a salmon color. I should probably break it out a little because when I don't get enough sleep, that's what happens. <laughs> and this is the color I use for my eyebrows. I fill it in with the NYX Nude Matte Shadow. And what color do I use? Betrayal. Woo! Hula bronzer, um, and then in the back I have an old, it's Judy Time palette that I really do not like. I don't even know why I have it. The color pigmentation stinks in that one. I don't like it. Some hand sanitizer, and then I have some room back here. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but uh, yeah, that's the vanity. So we'll head over here. This is just a fake little bouquet from Home Goods that I put up there. And as you can see, the top drawer, this is Jess's side. I gave him a side. He's got his chain. Um, I have my little tripod. I keep at the top. These little containers, believe it or not, came from the dollar store. They're um, food containers. They were down the aisle where you have, like, barbecue stuff, I guess, for condiments. But they fit in here great. There's four sections. 
little pair of everyday earrings, my little stud earrings. Let's see what's in the second drawer. Again, more of these dollar store containers. This is just random stuff. A travel toothbrush and Q-tips. My gym lock for when I go to the gym. This is from um, Bath and Body. It's an air freshener clip that you put on your visor. This is when I had blonde hair, my little bun. I probably don't need that anymore. If anybody wants it, let me know. I'll send it. <laughs> Some more clips that I don't really use too much anymore. Um, a scrunchie, because with curly hair, you do not want to use the rubber band kind. And this is just random. If I find change, I just throw it in there. Bills, bills, and more bills, coupons, junk. <laughs> Um, makeup wipes, my travel makeup bag from Victoria's Secret, lint brush, because you know I have the two dogs, so I use that religiously, and two little eyeliner sharpeners. And in the next drawer, my mirror that I use, and this thing is awesome. I got this at the Dollar Tree every day. I just, you know... I like to keep things nice and clean, and when you have white and you're using makeup, guys, you, you need one of these. They're great. They can go right in the wash. This thing slides right off. Throw it in the wash, clean it, and then you can use it again. <laughs> the next drawer is just random stuff. This towel, I when I do my makeup sometimes, I do like to spread it out here just so that it keeps this nice. It has glass. It came with it on top, which is great, but I do like to put a towel down. Um, more storage containers that I haven't filled yet. Um, what's this one? Well, let's see. This one is for Q-tips, a little acrylic thing. And this is just, you know, one of those little caddies that you can carry around, but you don't use it. And here is some hair products. You know, I don't really use heat on my hair right now because I've been doing it curly, but when I do, or I did, I used to use this, the flat iron um, heat protectant. This is Curl Boosting Mousse. I don't really use this too much right now because I'm still transitioning from straight to curly. This is the hairspray that I like, the Tresemme, three or four depending upon the day, and I haven't really been using it much again since my hair has been curly. Um... This is a product that I, when you do your hair straight, if you can find this, I think it's discontinued, but it is the best stuff ever. You put like a dime size amount in your hand, and then you can blow out your hair and have nice straight silky hair. This is All Soft by Redken. Again, this is like all straight hair products, and this was just a little sample of Defining Gel by Diva Curl, but I have a whole full-size bottle in the bathroom. Down here, whoops. Sorry about the dirty brush. <laughs> um, but again, I'm not really, been, haven't been using this, so I should clean it out. But this thing I love. I use this every night on my scalp. It's one of those, you know, you, you rub your scalp with it. Um, it helps circulation and it promotes hair growth. And they sell these at Bed Bath & Beyond, Harmon, all over the place. So get yourself one if you can find one. They're great. My diffuser, my wide tooth combs, and some brushes. Let's close that up. And last but not least, ha, the graveyard, all the hot tools. <laughs> Curling irons and flat irons and things like that. But this, no more. I haven't even used this or the diffuser yet. I've just been just letting my hair dry naturally. Right, let's put the towel back because Lori's a neat freak. Hold on. Where did this one go? I don't even know yet where stuff goes. Do you believe this? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> um, and on the other side, guys, these are pretty much empty. But I want to show you this candle that I pretty much light all the time is by White Barn, which is part of uh, Bath & Body. And I love it. It's called Pure White Cotton. It makes the room smell so good. And this is a vintage cake plate. This was my great grandma's. Um, and I happen to use it for perfume, cologne, lotion, deodorant, Jess's cologne. Um, I got rid of a lot of empty perfume bottles because I've been using that oil, this one. But uh, yeah, you know, on occasion. And last but not least, guys, <laughs> this is Beanie. I This was my first ever toy. Back in 1969, um, he has had many of operations, as you can see. He's a beanbag uh, little toy. And when I was a kid, 
and all, here's a little bean coming out, you see? But anyway, when I was a kid, I used to run to my mom and say, Beanie needs an operation, you know, future nurse, right? And she used to sew it up and, you know, like how we literally had to tourniquet his leg off because of the amount of wear. But look how cute. Like, they don't make toys like this anymore. Tourniquet feet, <laughs> big holes. But I used to love this little guy. And um, 48 years later, I still have him. So anyway, what I would like to do on the wall here, if you can see. Um, I have this gooseneck thing in the background just to illuminate the wall. But I want to put some kind of shelf or cute little shelves or something here. I don't know what's going to be, but if anybody has a suggestion, let me know. And yeah, there's my vanity tour. Um, hope you like it. And oh, and this is my jewelry mirror thing. Anyway, again, vanity, all from Ikea. I'm going to get a uh, rug for the floor. And um, yeah. So anyway, hope you liked my little vanity tour. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.